Worthen FC TV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to the FA Cup third qualifying round game at Eastbourne Borough here at Woodside Road. But just before we go to that game, Adam, can we look back to, to Concord Rangers on Tuesday, one all draw, a few days to settle now. What were your thoughts looking back on that? Um, no, yeah, I think like we've gone away now in, in, in the last two games and, and played some excellent football. Um, you know, really got the ball down and, and got the ball into the final third on, on numerous occasions. So, like I said before, that there's lots lots for us to be pleased with. Um, you know, and we'll just work tonight on trying to follow up with um, you know being more clinical in that final third. Um, you know, if if we wasn't getting the chances, then probably be a bit more of a worry. But the fact that you know we're we're getting the ball into the final third so often. Um, you know, there's plenty of room for us to, to be optimistic moving forward. It is like, um, as you said, there was a lot of chances, especially in that first half. There were, there were three real clear-cut ones. Uh, one of them did lead to a goal, but a couple were missed, one hit the bar. Is that a disappointment for you looking back on the game that we didn't quite come away with the win? Yeah, I think so. Like Us as a group, we'll, we'll analyse that tonight and the last two games. And I think, yeah, you'll see lots of good stuff um, in the build-up play. Um, and to get the ball in the, f the final third, we're, we're doing lots of good stuff to get there. And you know, the players have got to be, um, you know, applauded for that. It's it's brave to to play the way we play. Um, got huge um, faith in the players and uh, their ability to be able to do so. So, like I said to you before, there's there's loads for us to be pleased about. Um, but yeah, where it matters is in the opponent's box and and defending our box. I think we're defending our box a lot better. Um, but yeah, it's just it's it's very evident that we uh, need to be more clinical, and more ruthless, and uh, you know I think we've got the players that that can do it. It's just a case of confidence with with four players, and um, you know Ollie and Cal have both got four goals. Um, I think the top goal scorer in the league's got six. So um, you know then it's not like they're not not scoring. Um, Mo jammer has got two as well, so um, he's pushing on the. Their, their tails as well so yeah we're, we're, we're getting goals and we've got players that can score goals um, like I said it's just just their confidence and I'm sure when they start getting a couple more then um, you know that confidence come back yeah well one player who has been scoring you mentioned there Oli um, he's been in better goal scoring form recently than he has been um, across this whole season how is it for you with him sort of picking up his form now getting a few more goals I think it's four and three for him so yeah, I think he's got probably six for the season, including the two in the FA Cup, uh, four league goals. So, yeah, you know, I think um, if you was to ask him after ten games, he'd have or eleven games, including the cup, they'd have six goals. He'd be very happy with that return after the the return that he got um, with us last year. And same with Cal, probably four um, league goals after you know ten games, he'd, he'd take that. Um, but you know, at the same time, I think if they critical on themselves. They look at the chances that they could have had and how many goals they could have had by now. But you know, like I say, I don't want to put too much focus on on them, um, them two in, in particular, because they've you know we've had nasty injuries to Jake Lewis. I think that's his first ninety minutes um, that he's had with us um, the other night. So you know he's still coming back to fitness. Like I say, we've got Mo Jammer, Adam Adam. Um, we've got nods, we've got Mo Shabar now that's come in. So, you know, we've got bags of potential, um, good, some good young talent uh, in the building. Uh, and it's down to us to, to work with them and, and, and get that um, talent playing out on a match day. Speaking of Mo Shabar, it was his first game for the club on Tuesday night. How do you think he got on? Yeah, I think it was, uh, you know, okay performance, good assist. Um, I think there's more to come. Um, hope there's more to come. Um, looked a little bit nervous, a little bit, um, you know, um, tired towards the end, like 60 minutes, he started cramping up and stuff. So, which you're going to get because he hasn't played a whole great deal of football. Um, but yeah, I think there's there's more to come from him for sure. Um, but, you know, it's down to us, like I say, to try and get that bit of uh, consistency in, in a few of these younger players, um, you know, but they're young and they're can be inconsistent so it's a lot of them um, their first sort of step up to this kind of level as well so that's you know, going to take time but um, yeah they, they show real good signs so far Looking ahead to Saturday then Eastbourne Borough at home in the Cup what are your overall thoughts on the draw and what are you sort of expecting from them? 
No, it's not long ago that we played them. Um, so, you know, and I thought it was one of our toughest games, to be fair. Um, you know, made it very difficult for us. Uh, I think we got a lot of crosses in, a lot of corners. Um, didn't capitalise on them. So that'd be one area for us to look to improve on. Um, make sure that we're making more runs into the box and getting across players. Um, it's definitely an area for us to look at. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough try, a tough tough test I think it's a good cup tie both teams will fancy their chances of winning and progressing in the cup and it's a local derby as well so you know an excellent game to be part of um, there's been a bit of media attention around it um, so let's say that how much of a big game it is um, and you know it's one to relish I think as a, as a manager as a player it, you've got to relish these kind of games and it's a, it's a great game to be part of. They've been in pretty good form since they met us last actually, they won uh, three of the last five so they've been picking up results a bit more. Are you expecting them to be a bit tougher than we played them before or are you expecting more of the same? No yeah, like I thought it was a tough game, uh, they've got some real good players, um, they've got a few injuries as well like us but um, yeah, um, you know that it's, it's going to be a real tough tough game whatever team Danny decides to put out on the day um, it's going to be a tough tough test um, they don't give many goals away normally um, you know tough team to break down and you know we've got to come up with a way to, to try and do that um, at the same time you know be ready for, for what they bring to the table as well because like I said they've got some talent on their side as well um, so yeah it's a, it's a great test and we're going to have to be fully concentrated throughout the game uh, to try and get anything from it you mentioned the injuries there uh, Joel Colbrand picked up a knock on Tuesday and obviously Aaron Racine and Captain Keely were both out as well is there anything about those guys are they going to be fresh for Saturday? Um, yeah I'm not too sure on all, all counts really um, you know could be missing all three on, on the day um, Joel for definite, uh, it's not going to be available. Um, he's going to be four to six weeks with his ankle. It's not broken, but he's done his ligaments. So, um, yeah, a real tough one. He's been playing excellent for us, arguably our best player um, in the f you know, first few games of the season. A um, bit of a innocuous challenge, and he's gone over his ankle. Um, but, yeah, he had an X-ray yesterday, no break, um, but hell of a lot of swelling. So, yeah, very, very swollen ankle he's got. Um, so yeah, no chance for Saturday, but yeah, uh, I'm sure you know Sam and Joel will work as hard as they can to get themselves back as soon as possible. It's a shame that he's been a big player for us, like you say. Is there any idea of who might be able to fill his place going forward? Um, yeah, we've got James Firstford, we've got Cam Tuck that can play fullbacks. Um, we've got Carl O'Brien out getting game time as well. Um, we've got Ruben Austin in our youth team. Um, you know, so we've got bags of options. We've got John Lucero as well, who right back that's out playing at New Haven, getting minutes as well. So, yeah, there's there's lots of lots of good options that we've got at the club um, to to fill in fullback sort of areas, um, and that's that's what we like to do. It's an opportunity for someone else to to step up and and get some minutes, and um, you know, it's down to them to sort of take it whilst Joel's out. Result permitting, Saturday, how did Bees get into the fourth qualifying round? It'll be the first time in a little while. How big of a thing would that be for you? Yeah, it'd be, be a massive thing, um, you know, speak to the fans and whenever they, they speak to them, they, they speak about the FA Cup and, you know, and I know it's a, it's, it's a great competition to be part of and, um, you know, we haven't had too much success in it in recent, recent uh, years, so, yeah, it's definitely a competition that, you know, I want to do well in, but I'm sure Eastbourne will as well, they had a good cup tie and a couple of years ago at Blackpool, um, so they'll be keen to sort of progress and like I say they'll fancy their chances, we'll fancy our chances being at home um, and that has, has all the make up for, for a really good FA Cup tie. All the best Sam. Good Last luck. one. Cheers, thank you.